everybody, this is Pam with the Paper Outpost, and today we are carrying on with our never endless page ideas for our junk journals. I am going down this old list that I made a long time ago, and we are on number 16, top and bottom stencils. If you would like a printout of this uh, list that I've had forever, um, I have gone ahead and attached it to my free monthly emailed newsletter. So if you sign up for the newsletter anytime from April on forward, it will be on the bottom of every newsletter going forward. So if, even if you signed up a long time ago, you will now have it on the bottom of every email. Um, uh, so that's where it's gonna live in the freebie section along with the note from the bookmaker, checklist of supplies, and the free monthly uh, digital, uh, digital image emailed to you monthly. Okay, so this is basically what we're gonna be doing. There are many ways to do stencils, but the nice thing, the awesome thing about stencils um, is they're easy, they're um, very attractive, they really break a blank page, they don't add thickness to your journals, but they add a lot of pizzazz and flair. Uh, so here's an example of an upper stencil, okay, and I think we're going to probably do more than four because there's a lot you can do with stencils. Um, and what I did was I took a um, stencil. This is a star stencil. Now, Pam, where do you get your stencils? I get them everywhere. I used to uh, buy them. I recently bought another hoard. I had no rhyme or reason to buy more stencils, but I did because I love them. They're like potato chips. And uh, how do I store my stencils? Oh, it's a really attractive thing. I store them in a paper bag. I have a bushel full of stencils, but it's easier for me to rummage through the paper bag quickly and uh, that's the best thing I came up with. If anybody has ideas of how to store stencils, it's really cool and makes it easy to access your stencils. Please let me know, because stencils like to catch on each other. You know what I mean? Um, but anyway, this, this is what I've got going on right now. Um, so I put the top, um, I actually started this one uh, here, okay, and that is in Kitsch Flamingo and a dirty paddle brush. So that is how I achieved this muted pink color. Yes. The dirt is other inks. Okay, because I cross-pollinated. Why, why don't you just get other paddle brushes? Well, I, I do have other paddle brushes. Why don't you reach for them? I, do, I don't know. I'm lazy. I'm a lazy crafter. Okay, that's, that's the truth. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, so now, that's the top stencil. Very pretty, right? Oh, let me put a little more light on for you here. Okay. And now we're going to do the bottom stencil. Now you could do the bottom stencil the same color. You don't even have to do a bottom stencil. Maybe you're done with top stencil. That's it. That's as far as you want to go. We're going to, we're going to do bottom stencil for uh, just completeness here. And I think I'm going to use walnut stain. Okay. Now where's that dirty brush? I think this was, it had the pink on it. So I'm just going to rub it in walnut stain. Probably completely pollute that. But that's okay. If there's my, they're my toys. And if I break them, so be it. So be it. And, and you can see what, I'll take the hit, I'll do it, and then you decide whether you want to go there. How about that? Um, I know these big risks in life, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, very pretty. Now the darker color, I think, anchors the bottom. The lighter color on top, that could be the earth and the pink sky. You know, we can imagine anywhere with this. And that can either set up a page to be decorated, or you can leave it as is, as a writing space, or a place for somebody else to come on along and have some fun with the decorations. Because Pam, you don't have to fill up every dang page, so nobody else has any place to put anything in their journals. But you can. <laughs> yes, you can. Why? Because it's your journal. Um, and maybe that's just the way you make them. And that's okay. All right. So let's go on to uh, uh, another. Okay, we'll go into the second signature. Here's a nice page. How about we do, maybe, no, actually, let's do some stenciling on the, the left. Just for a little balance. Here's a nice page. Okay, this is a yellowish um, resume paper. I don't know if you can see that, but it's uh, it's got like little flecks of, I don't know, um, little particles in the paper. It's very pretty. But uh, I think maybe what we can do now is, uh, let me orient this a little better. Okay. And um, we can layer. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so this is a leaf stencil. Uh, if I was looking for stencils, I go on eBay, Amazon, Etsy, AliExpress, and I look around for bulk batches of stencils. I usually, like, let's say I'm looking for leaf stencils. I'll type in leaf stencil, and then on eBay, I'll go price lowest to highest, and then I'll just start from the bottom. And every once in a while, they're just blowing some out in big collections, or you might find some used ones somebody's getting rid of. Uh, or you just never know and then you kind of work your way through and you start justifying why you need 75 stencils um, And you have some fun <laughs> and that's what happens. Okay, so here we go forest moss 
Okay, let's try this. Um, here's a green, here's a kind of a greenish one. This one's got some greeny something that looks like it might have played in here before. Uh, I do try. I try. Now, you don't have to do the whole stencil, okay? So I could say, okay, I need to put the leaf there. No, you don't have to. You can have that leaf hanging off. Maybe it's just essence of leaf at the top. You know, maybe that's all it is. Essence of leaf. There should be a perfume named essence of leaf. Um, okay, and then maybe we're going to do some different things hanging here. It doesn't always have to be the same thing. No, no. And you can put them sideways to make like a little bit of a... Um, a different style border. Maybe you're making your own flourish at the top. Look at me flourishing away here, not really knowing what I'm doing, but I'm just kind of go for it. Um, here's a nice little down one, kind of hanging off. Okay, and then maybe, uh, maybe, look, I don't know, maybe this half a leaf over here. We'll just give them like a little quarter of a leaf. Oh, I need some more color. Okay. This thing is great for stenciling. Boy, if you really want to have some fun stenciling, just make stenciling so easy. You just get nice crisp anim images. Okay, but maybe you're not done yet. Maybe you want to add a little bit more to it. Maybe maybe I want to add some something else, like I could layer in my stencils because I'm really, I'm feeling very fancy. And let me find something. Now, if I could find berries, that would just be the cat's meow. But the fact if I could find, okay, how about this? Here's a flower. See the flower? I'm going to use that, or I could even use some of this, but I think I'm going to use this, these little flowers here. They might just come in very handy, and I'm going to over stencil right on top of those. So with this again, I'm going to grab the Kitsch Flamingo, just for fun, playing with a different pink. The worn lipstick, I have not forgotten you. I just want to play with some uh, new pinks. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to do the roundy go. Now I have that. Yes, and a smudge. Look at that. Look at me go. I won't, Yep, that's the way it goes sometimes. And maybe... With this one, since I've done multiple colors up there, maybe I want to do a little counterbalance to that at the top. And maybe I'm going to put some little small piece, where's the leaf thing, um, of the leaf down first. Maybe this little leaf. We'll just give it a little leaf. Is that green? That's green. There, let's go back with the, what was that? Did I tell you what green that was? It was forest moss, right? Okay, here. Forest moss. Okay. All right. Here we go, putting it down. Not bad, right? Okay, it's essence of leaf. We're going for essence. This is not, you know, Leonardo here. This is Pam and essence. Um, and now maybe just like a little half cluster here. Let's get the pink one. I don't wanna, oh, I, I, do, I do have some scruples and I draw the line in certain places. I'm using a pinkish one. Pinks, burgundies, fuchsias, yeah. Kitsch Flamingo. All right, there you go. Let's put you here. I'll just give you a little rub it up. That's cute as a button, right? Like, look how pretty this page. Just voila, poof. Yep, very pretty. All of a sudden, didn't do much to it, but we're doing top and bottom stencils. Okay, so that was signature number two. Let's move on to signature number three. All right. Oh, you're very pretty. All right, um, maybe we'll do something here. Do I have a white page? This is kind of a white page. Let me do a white page so you can kind of see. This has a little decoration in the corner, but we're not going to let that stop us. It has some, I rounded these pages and did some punch outs. See that? I don't know where I was going or what I was doing then. I was probably practicing with my punch. Um, but let's see what we have here. What do we have here, little Missy? Oh, I have these. These are, this is in the same thing. I don't know, on, somewhere on eBay, I can hear you. Where'd you get it? I don't know, somewhere on eBay, <laughs> I think. Okay, could do a big one could do a big banner at the top. That might be nice. Let's try that. And what color do you want to use, Pam? You want to use something different? This has some blue in it, this journal. So maybe we'll do some broken china. Oh, you got to get another scrubber. Got to get another scrubber dubber, Pam. Dig deep. Oh, there's a real, there's a dirty one from Days Gone. Oh boy, we've, we've, we've got stories we can tell around the bar with this one. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh boy. Oh yeah. No, it's picking it up pretty good. We're okay. It's not polluting it too much. See, I don't know why. Probably it's pretty dry. That's why. All right. What were we going to do? Oh, yeah. The big border at the top. A big flourish. A big floopy flourish at the top. Okay. And you just go and rub. I don't know if I put enough on. Okay. All right. There we go. Oh, very pretty, right? I mean, I don't know. I just, I just think it's really pretty. And, um... 
Uh, such a nice way to accent a page. Maybe nothing more than that. Maybe come along and accent the stencil with stickles, which is glitter glue. That would be very pretty. And I probably will do that, but I can't turn the page because I'll have to wait for that to dry. So I just want you to know, you can always level it up from there. Uh, but right now we're just gonna go for essence. And, and this is fine as is. I think that's a beautiful page. And we're going on to um, signature number four. And uh, I have really not pre-thought the, these. This is actually what I do when I'm going through a journal. I just kind of look for naked page that beckons like, okay, here, inside here. This is like, this is a, truly a white page. Let's have some fun on this page. Now we're only doing tops and bottoms. This is top bottom stencil day. All right, let me find something. Okay. I was looking for you earlier, oh owls, um, but I didn't find you then. But let me go ahead and you're pretty too, though. Well, you've got also got some text. That's nice. And there's a tree. Oh, the tree would be nice in the corner. And then maybe we'll do something over here. Let's go with that. And we can use that. Um, the forest moss. Oh, OK. Forest moss. Nothing fancy. We're just taking it easy, laying low today. That's blue on there. What's this? This is the green. OK. I guess I'm, I'm giving them their own little pads. Um, okay, maybe I'll just, see how I just take it off the edge a little bit? Are you close enough? Can you see? Uh, okay, there we go. And now I will stencil. And you can be careful and cover up the things you don't want stenciled, or you can just sort of go, go for it. Okay, let's see what we get here. See how good it's looking. Get a little more in there, a little more in there. And where are we at? Oh, we have a nice little tree in the top of this page. Okay, that's very pretty. I like that. Um, and then what do I want to extend coming over? Let's see if I can extend this tree all the way over. I'm just going to, I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try and use the same stencil and make the tree go all the way across the top, just as if there were more branches to it. Yep, kind of did it. Not bad, right? It's kind of working. Um... I may have to come in with an owl save. Yeah, I think I might have to do an owl save <laughs> right there. Because, you know, owls hang out in trees. I, I am not crazy for thinking this. I'm sure they do. I think I've seen owls in trees here in Florida. Walnut stain going for the brown. The big brown of it all. You were probably originally a brown, but now you're a blue. What to do? What to do? Green? No. Oh, I guess we're going to do this one. Oh, dear. Oh, well. I think it'll the blue will disappear into the brown. There we go. That's that handled that. OK, now there's like OK, there, like there's like a wonky area here where my great stenciling technique doesn't look so great. So I am going to over stencil that. Maybe I'm not going to do the, the uh, maybe I'm going to do some words. Oh, and I can do black. That would be so cool. Let's completely drop that idea and let's go with black soot. That's right. We mean business when we're pulling out the black soot. Okay, so I need a... I should probably have one that just does black because everything's going to go black now. Oh, I have these. Have you ever seen these? These are alternatives to... Um, these are alternatives to these. I don't know what they call these. Big fat brushes? Makeup brushes? I think they're makeup brushes. But they're very densely packed. And you can really get in there. So let's try this because I don't know if I've... I've used it yet. I'm in the black soot. I'm grinding. Probably not supposed to grind. Probably supposed to dab. I don't know. Just get the ink on there. Just kind of go around a bit. All right. Now we've got to pick a nice phrase. Uh, people we love. The places we... How about the places we've been? That's nice. And I'm going to kind of do it to mask, cover up. Because we are crafters. And that's what we do. When, we, when, we, when something doesn't come out right, we cover it up. That's what we do. Go around here and we swirl and we spin and we get that ink in there. And this looks all so fancy. Okay, let me get a little more ink on there and then need a little more in that corner. Okay. And if it doesn't work out because it's, this page is already in my book, you know, you do have a choice. You can decorate these things ahead of time or you can decorate them in the book. But we can always, we can always, uh, Put something over it if we don't like it. So we, we, we're not fretting. No, there's no fretting going on. Oh, that's very nice. Okay, see what we have now. Oh, that's very nice, right? So you can throw some words in there. Um, hanging in the trees. It doesn't need to make any sense, but it can, and it looks kind of cool. And maybe you want to 
you still got a little ink on your thing here. You can, you can hue, I call this hewing, but basically you can ink around the edges in a light, dusty sort of manner to give your page a little bit of uh, framing, but with a uh, upper stencil. Yeah, very nice, right? And you could put some lines on there. Wouldn't that be pretty for a place for somebody to write? Um, you could put a poem in here or a quote or a pocket or a tuck or just leave it as is. But remember, this is going to be like that and they're going to open that. Like, oh, look at that. Ah, yes. Um, and so a lot of fun things can be done in this area. Um, so that's another example. And let's just rotate back. Oh, we got time. We got lots of time. Um, let me see if I can find a page that already has some decorating on it and see how... Um, we can add to it. Okay, maybe this front page here. Although I really like that blankness of that page. I think I'm just going to leave that one be. This one, I have... Oh, you can't see. Why didn't you say so? Goodness gracious, where are you? I hear you, you know. I hear everything you say. And when you mumble, I hear you. <laughs> Those under-the-breath things, I hear every one of them. Yes, I do. Okay, here's an old 1862 check. That's pretty cool. Or some kind of something. Um, you can always tell by the heavy... Um, fountain pen strokes, uh, often denoting very old piece of paper. Okay, a very simple pocket made it with a digi kit, but kind of plain in here, a bit of a, you know, and, and you don't have to do something to these pages. This is just simply, we're playing at this point, having fun. And I'm just gonna do some top decorating here. Now let's see, oh, it says we got some tickets. That might be fun. Cause maybe they spent the check on the tickets. So let's try that, okay. Let me maneuver you. Here you go. And you don't have to have the whole stencil on there. You can just have part of it. That's okay. Um, now, should I do brown or black? Maybe I'll do some of both. Oh, you didn't see that coming, did you? That's right. We're going to multicolor here. All right. I'm going to do the black around the edges. Okay. Got some of that going. Is that enough? I don't know. It doesn't look that dark. Let me put some more on get some nice darkness in there and then we're going to get some brown this is the walnut stain okay this can be a little two-tone sally all right let's see here we go all right oh very nice very nice right very good yep so a little two-tone uh, kind of pulling from the colors that are here the blacks and a little brown um tan color going on there and oh, I, this is supposed to be top and bottom am I doing bottom as well did I forget I don't know maybe we'll add some bottom um okay maybe I'll do this one this says uh, I don't know if you can read it but it says pastimes this is a common one out there you will find this one if you really look um okay let's see and again a little halfer with the dark black soot these are not quite as stiff as the paddle brushes. I think I prefer the paddle brushes, but this one just happened to be there and it was clean. So on it came. What are you, green? On here, what are you? I think you're brown. Okay. And you can do them, some of them light. They don't all have to be dark. Some can be light, but you can do them dark. That's okay. There we go. Very pretty, right? Just some pretty edge at the top. They can be connected. They can be separated totally up to you. Just uh, going for the look that you like. And um, maybe I'll put just a smidge of something, you know, just a little something. So you're, you don't have to, let's say you have this stencil. You don't have to use all of this. No, you can just use like a little piece of it. That's right. Let's do that. So one stencil you can use many ways. Okay, here we go. And we're rolling in the corner there. Okay. I think I got some on here. Oh, well, it happens. Um, and the brown. Okay, there we go. Just a little bit of that at the bottom. So when they pull out this check, they're going to have something to see. Now they can still write all over this. Um, lots of writing room there. And just a fun little page. And um, there you go. All right, so now let's move along. We'll try some different ideas as we go here. Um, that's in the first signature. Now I'm going to go to the back of the second signature. Just trying to uh, place a little variety in here as we go through. We already did a pink page. Maybe did we not? Do, I don't know if we did a. This is kind of. Where is my camera going? Holy mackerel! Um, I think it has a mind of its own. Um, let's do something on here. 
Uh, let's create a statement. Oh, this is a pretty one. Look at that. That's got something to say, doesn't it? It's a very pretty flourish border thingy. And let us, now this is, okay, what color are we using, Pam? Let's go with pink. Okay, here it is. Here is my pink pad. Again, I'm using Kitsch Flamingo. And uh, maybe we'll, we will stickle one of these up at the end because we'll be leaving the book open at that point and then you can get an idea of what it might look like all, all dolled up. And then you'll go buy a whole pile of stickles and you'll realize they go a long way and you'll have them forever and it's gonna be dandy. And then you just gotta remember to put them aside, um, your, your stickled work to let it dry. And I don't know, it's probably gonna be dry in an hour or two with the stickles, the um, glitter glue, but it, it does take a little bit. The Nouveau drops do dry a little faster. They're pretty too. Okay, let's see. Oh, so pretty, right? Now, we can do the same thing at the bottom. I know, right? It's just like a, a giant, like, stencilage going on here, but I just think it's really pretty, and maybe it's even going to connect in the middle. I'm going to see how it goes. It's kind of a bit of a surprise for me, too. I don't know. I don't know. I've done this one before, though, and I know I really liked it, so I'm, I'm feeling good about it. Yeah. Okay, here we go. There, isn't that pretty? I mean, look at that effect. I mean, that's just dan darn dandy hoot and tootie. Isn't that, isn't that pretty? And again, the person can still come along and write all over this. It is just one page thick. It does not add any bulk, but man, does it take, that is some effect, isn't it? That's just so pretty. Um, okay, and we carry on here. That was the second signature, and we'll go to we'll try and make them look a little different. That's the whole key with this uh, concept with the list. Take one idea and use it multiple different ways. So obviously, um, using one stencil at the top and the bottom is a way. And then there's also, uh, well, this was just top. Okay, so that, that's just top. You could do just bottom. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but you could also blend the colors and you can also leave spaces or gaps or close them. Uh, okay, so what do we have going on here? We have a little bit of color see-through, but I can't, because I'm doing top and bottom stencils, I can't hear that at the moment, but I will do something about that later at another time. I do not know what, but I have my ideas, yes. Okay, here's a nice white page that could probably need something. Okay, so let's go to our paper bag of stencils. Oh, no, I don't need to. I've got 17 stencils right here. Oh, this guy. Everybody loves a good round of this guy. Uh, wait, I'm pulling my stencils apart. You probably want to see some dis different stencils maybe, huh? Oh, here's something different. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I don't need to go see the old guy again. I was talking about my, my branches. I, I do love my branches. Um, this is my favorite stencil. I probably use it all the time, like all the time. It's ridiculously priced, but it's awesome. So there you go. Um, okay, so now there's this, which is kind of weird and oozy. Um, let me see. I'm just going to use a little bit of it. I think it might look like boobs if I do that, though. But let me just try. Go to some brown. Just see what we got. Kind of brownie green, because that's what was on here. That's okay, though. That's nice. But maybe I'm going to overlap and overlay. It's going to look like cow udders at this point. Oh, goodness. Um... But we, we will just get creative and see what we can do here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, you can't even see it, can you? Okay, it's kind of light. Um, so I'm taking one section of it and repeating the pattern across. Um, now, I think I would like to do something else in there. Now, I've already done words. We've layered in words, so we're not going to do that. Find something different, Pam. Find something different. I'm looking, I'm looking. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, here, now, this is what you don't want to do with your stencils. Um, if you use modeling paste and you don't wash the modeling paste off, it will stick and then you're stuck with that. So, yeah, don't do that to yourself. Okay, here's a really pretty um, hummingbird. Can you see that? Hummingbird? I'm going to try and put him on there in the upper corner here. I think he might look pretty. What color should we use? Blue? He might be nice and blue. Let's do it. So this, again, is broken china. Okay, which one was the blue? It was the one with the brown. Now it's all blue. It's all brown now. Let's just do it and see what happens. This pad feels very dry. Oh, it's starting to look yellow. See what happens when you put brown and blue together? You get green, some version of green. So I'm probably slowly destroying this one. I've had this one forever, though. That These oxides, they have so much pigment and ink in them. 
Maybe rarely. I don't think you could ever come to the end of one of these. Maybe you have. Have you come to the end of an oxide? I don't think I have. They just go on forever. I've had to re-ink the ones that just have ink, the Distress inks, not called oxides, just Distress inks. And I put more color in there with the re-inkers just because it's, it's less expensive to buy them that way as opposed to buying new pads, but you can buy new pads. And uh, I mean, I, I ink quite a bit and I don't go through this stuff that fast. So it's, I think, a good investment for the money, you know? When you're trying to decide where your junk journal dollars should go, you know? Is it in the quality of the paper? Is it in um, the ink quality? Is it in the tools? I would say tools. Put your money into tools because the tools, you can do many things with one tool. That's the kind of tool you want to get. And, you know, like your paper cutters or, you know, if you like the crocodile way to punch the holes. Um, not everybody does, but if you, if you do, then there you go. That's a, an investment, you know, it's like 40 bucks or whatever. And, um, you know, if you're like, if you're a cricket or cry cut or, or, you know, electric die cutting person, you know, there's some... Um, expensive tools out there. So yeah, I think tools, as long as you use the tool, if you find you get the tool and you don't use it, well, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, there we go. We have that. Oh, I think it's very pretty. You know, it's just a very soft, he could be reaching for whatever is in this little pocket. I, I like that idea. So now I could do something very simple. Oh, but you know, I think I'm going to do this. I have the words secret garden on this one. So if you're trying to find this one, just look up Secret Garden Stencil, because this is a very common one that's out there as well. Okay, let me put Secret there. I don't know what is on here, but I'm just, I'm just going to use it up. And it's probably blue or brown or green or pink, right? Yeah, it's going to be one of those. I think it's going to be fine, what, no matter what color it is. Secret. I might be able to get the whole word in here. Garden. Let's put this color... Yeah, just hold it steady. You can tape these down and all that with removable tape, but I don't think it's that important. No, it's a more fuss than it's worth sometimes. You know what I mean? You got to draw the line at the fuss factor. Are we over fussing or under fussing? Okay, what do we got? Okay, now we have bridged the gap and gone on to the next page, which I think looks kind of cool. Do you think it looks kind of cool? Okay, I lost the E a little bit, but not bad. I mean, everybody pretty much gets that it's secret garden. And uh, I would probably come along here and do something like this, a little hewing, just to fill it in, you know. Um, but that just kind of brings everything in. It leaves a nice blank spa space in the center for somebody to play with. Uh, so let's, was that the last one? Where are we time-wise? Ah, we'll do one more, just for fun. Okay, so remember when you are um, uh, looking for this list it's on my free monthly email newsletter and it's at the bottom there's a um, i've tried to delineate it more because sometimes people have a hard time finding it because it looks like the email ends but then the freebie section is lower than that so just go all the way to the bottom and you're going to find all those things down there so there you go um okay we're going to do something here and we're going to use one that we have not you okay this is different we have a whole like like collection of words here see the words yeah, we haven't, we haven't, we've added a word, we've layered on words, but this, now we're actually going to use the words. Uh, oh, is that what we're going to do? I don't know. I might change my mind. Okay. All right, here we go. What else do I have here? I'm just looking. Looking. That's very pretty. That's very nice, too. Could do that little, uh, Oh, this is very simple and very pretty. I think I'm going to do that. This is just a row of, uh, like a vine with leaves. Sometimes something simple is your best friend. And you can even have it hang off the top of just a little bit for interest. And let's do that with, um, let's go be bold and do blue. Because there's some blue there. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Back in the broken china. Probably going to get green again. Because I'm muddling. I should have had a separate blue and brown one. But it didn't work out that way. That's okay though. We carry on. We craft on. We move forward. We don't let lack of a craft supply ever stop you. Uh, just go forward and craft with what you have. Get creative and get inventive and um, repurpose things. Look for uh, multiple uses for one item and you're going to find you have a lot more supplies and a lot more tools than you ever thought. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. Isn't that cute? That's just pretty, right? It's very subtle, very simple. And we're going to do one at the bottom too. I think a nice matching one would be good. And... Um, I'm going to do it in the, I'm doing my grinding. Okay. 
And I can hear the toes curling. I know I'm probably doing something wrong, but like I said, my toys. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I will show you what happens when you do it this way and you can decide whether there's better ways to do it. And there probably are. Um, okay, here we go. Coming across the page. Oh, this is moving, that's okay. I'll just keep rubbing, keep rubbing. Might have to go get a little more ink. Are we good, are we good? I think we're good. There we go. And we have the top and the bottom. And maybe I wanna do a little something. I mean, I'm not just out here in left field doing nothing. I'm gonna do something to this page that's different. Oh, I have a little lips and a top hat and a kiss and a heart. Oh, I like the heart. Okay, I, I, I do this on my um, thumbnails a lot for my videos. So some of you may recognize this. Yes. I'm all about the hearts. Okay. And maybe I'll do a couple little hearts down here just to give it a little variety. Yeah, just having some fun. So you can play with shapes and you can play with um, little borders and you can use different colors and you can use words, um, lots of fun. So let's go ahead and stickle one of these little babies up just for fun, because we're here, which isn't technically stenciling, but we're here, you know, we're here. We're having fun, we're here. Okay, which one do I wanna, let's just do this one, okay. <laughs> Don't be looking everywhere else now, Missy. You just keep it where it is, okay. Um, an interesting color. They might, they might look nice. This is a bright gold and this is Nouveau Drop. So this won't quite take as long to dry, but I thought it might be a nice contrast with the, um, let me zoom you in a little bit. Clear the decks, zoom you in. And I think I'm just going to do a little bit of embellishment along here. And this is so easy to work with. This is Nouveau Drops, down, up, down, up, down, up is the technique. And just come along and you put them wherever you want, really. Um, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll just do a little decorating around here. And this is kind of like the frosting on the cake, you know. Um, you can play with it as much or as little as you like. And there's a, really, can you see? Yep, no right or wrong way to do this um, other than down up. I think that's your best friend. Other, otherwise, you're going to get the polywog tadpole tails and um, that's not it's not awful if that happens don't worry about it sometimes you can scrape them up but sometimes they're stuck there but don't fret about it just carry on and keep going because you have many pages in your junk journal and I want you to have fun on all of them so um, I'll just put a few of these down here at the bottom since we're here um, you can make things match you can make things varied you can make it look the same you can make it look different it's your page to decorate. So there you go. This p page now has a little pizzazz. So I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, what's it? What are you? Ah, where you came from? Um, uh, I, I'm so appreciative you guys uh, decide to share time here, hanging out, playing with our papers, just having some good old fun. Uh, gosh knows we need more fun. And um, I'm hoping to bring you more ideas, uh, lots of ideas uh, coming. Welcome to everybody who is new. And um, if you have not heard, well, let me just tell you that my videos, they come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. What, Sunny? Do you have something to say? And uh, my podcasts, um, they come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. And my free monthly email newsletter I already told you about. So make sure you sign up for that because uh, you're going to get all sorts of goodies. No choking, Bubba. And... Um, um, I have an Etsy shop where you're going to find completed journals every once in a while, big fat chunky monkeys or maybe junk journal bundles um, when I have them available. But then you're always going to find vintage digi kits, which are printable downloads. You print them out at home and you're going to find nice collections of five different pages related to themes. And uh, just because a collection is a theme does not mean you have to do a journal based on that theme. It just could be maybe an essence or a wafting or something that you like. Uh, it's maybe your style or your genre or something that you like to play with and um hi hello everybody i just i just thought i'd float in here while mother babbles okay and um what else do we have in the etsy shop well um mom will print them for you if you don't want to print them just buy the printing mail and then send her a list of 10 digi kid names first two or three words will do you take it from here, Mom, explain. Uh, yes, send it to the list to um, pam at thepaperoutpost.com. That's my email address, pam at thepaperoutpost.com. Or you can send me the list in Etsy message. I, li I just like when you rub my ears. And um, 
I will promptly send those off to you. They're printed on lightweight cardstock. If you pick one of the signature page digi kits, they will be double sided printed uh, on regular printer paper or copy paper, the 20 pound paper. And what else? What else? What else? Uh, I have an Amazon shop. Yes, yes, and I have a section. Yes, you have a section. Um, okay, so we have a section of favorite tools and supplies, craft storage, fun uh, books that junk journalers uh, just love to gather and collect and hunt for. And um, what else? We have a... Uh, hello, hello, the sunny section. Right, okay, yes, there is a sunny section for Sunny's favorites. <laughs> Uh, he has a few little pet things he wanted to show you. And also, um, I have a Facebook group. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having lots of fun doing weekly and monthly challenges over there. And um, I have an Amazon. Oh, did I told you about that. Shh, move on. Move on, Mom. Okay. Um, links are in the drip down, drip down description box. Yep, that drippy drip down description box down below. If you're on your phone, I think you can touch on the title and that'll open the drop down description box. And if you're on your tablet, I have absolutely no where the drop, I have no idea where the drop down description box is, but on your PC, I think you just click the little button or something that says show more below it at the video and it'll open it up. And you can find me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. If you find value here, please like, subscribe, and share. And um, I have a merchandise shop where if you like the Create with Reckless Abandon theme, you can get that on a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or a zip hoodie or something really cool for yourself or for a friend or a loved one. And remember, most of all, what do they have to remember most of all? Fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. And don't be afraid to color outside of the lines. It's okay. Yep, it is. It's okay, everybody. So big hugs from all of us to all of you. We go back to sleep now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> all right. Take care. See you soon.